Okay, why don't I go ahead and solve this question? Uh, because I covered the steam power plant. So I'm uh, focusing a question from that end. A steam power plant operating with 40% thermal efficiency. We talked about the efficiency. The efficiency is 40% or 0.4, which is equal to 40%, right? Um, rejects 1.2 megajoules to the atmosphere. If the work produced by the turbine is 1 megajoule, find the energy external source needs to provide to the pump component of the power plant, steam power plant in this case. So what I want to do is I want to actually from the last segment, so I want to go ahead and uh, draw my TH over here. Let's do blue, right, because of the colors of hot and uh, cold, TL, right. And I don't really know, need to know the details of my heat engine. It just gives me a bunch of information. It basically, I will have a QH over here. I will have a QL over here. I will have a W out from here. But this time around, typically I mentioned this. What happens is I have a turbine over here for a steam power plant. I, I directly connect it to the pump component of the right over here from the previous segment. Here, I connect the pump to the turbine. So the, the turbine basically just powers the pump. Okay, but in this case, it's what this is giving to me. So they are saying that this is an external power source. Okay, fine, it's not a biggie. So I will add this W in. Okay, so let me write what I do know. It says about this W out, the turbine output is given to me as one megajoule. So I'm going to write this as a thousand kilojoule. We can leave it as megajoule. Um, you know, it's up to you, but then leave everything as megajoules. Okay. And I'm also looking at the, uh, you know, let's read very carefully. The thermal efficiency, blah, 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 rejects 1.2 megajoule to the atmosphere, rejects. So that's going to be the QL, that's the reject component, okay? Kilojoules. Um, did, well, obviously, it's asking me this, this. But did it give me the QH? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so we got to do something about it. The first thing I want to start is that I wrote over here, so why don't I use it, okay? So the efficiency will be... The net work output and the net work output in this case will be this W out minus W in because in order for me to get this kind of a power from the turbine, it costs me this much. I have to have a pump from the work stand point, okay? And this is QH. So from here you can see 0 0.4 is equal to um, W out, which is 1000, minus W in divided by QH. So let's multiply this 0 0.4 QH is equal to 1000 minus WN. So let me multiply both sides by 2.5, right? I want to just let QH is equal to 2500 minus 2.5 WN. So I have a little problem. The little problem is that this is not sufficient, okay? Because I have two unknowns. I have QH, I have WN, and WN is being asked. So I'm going to leave this exactly where I am at, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the first law. Looking at this particular case, I have a first law. Um, whatever comes in, uh, we talked about this in a cycle, E in minus E out will be equal to zero because it's a cycle. So E in is equal to E out. So I'm going to write whatever comes in. And in terms of the uh, coming in, QH is coming in, W in is coming in, W out is coming out, QL is coming out, right? You can use different versions of it. I simply prefer to write this way today. So you can see QH plus W in, which is being asked, is equal to W out. W out is uh, 1000 and the QL is 1200, okay? Kilojoules, units wise. And QH is up there. So I want to write this because I want to reduce, uh, re you know, uh, make sure I have one in unknown over here. Okay. So you can see what's happening, 2,500, and this 2,500 goes to the other side as, uh, you know, minus. So, okay, so I get myself minus 1.5 Wn on the left-hand side. The right-hand side becomes minus 300. So from here, you get Wn to be 200 kilojoules, okay? So this is the answer. But I want to double uh, ensure that what I'm doing is correct. So I want to look at this uh, 0 0.4, whether I get it, you know? So what I want to do first is I want to look at the QH value. So from here, QH becomes 2,500 minus 2 and a half times 200. That's 2,000 kilojoules, okay? The WN is 200 kilojoules. This is 2,000 kilojoules. You can clearly see here, I get 800 divided by 2,000, that is 0 0.4. 
So now I'm definitely sure that I did something right, okay? Thank you for watching this.